What about gluten? For the vast majority of people, wheat protein, just like quinoa protein or any other grain, has been considered good for us, health-promoting. But only for about 99% of people. The rare 1% or so have celiac disease, and they have to stick to a gluten-free diet. But what about people who don't have celiac, but may be otherwise gluten-sensitive? Last year, the possibility was raised that some cases of irritable bowel syndrome, for example, may improve on a gluten-free diet. So if you do suffer from symptoms like chronic diarrhea and abdominal pain, your doctor may want to give a gluten-free diet a try. But if we don't have those symptoms, gluten is good for us. In fact, there was a study last year suggesting a gluten-free diet was bad for our good bacteria. So we shouldn't go gluten-free unless there's a good medical reason.